everybody. It's Mike here again at Crash Bushcraft. We're going to start on part two um, with a knife that I started. It was the Buki. Um, someone had asked me where to get that name. Uh, my son, is, that's his nickname. Somebody had made a comment, you know, where did you get that name? Where is it from? It's just a name. There's no big thing about it. That's just now the Buki. But anyway, um, I'm going to do some modifications on that. So if you'll hang tight, we'll get you and show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of a drop point just because I don't like that round edge up there. I was wanting to use it maybe if I wanted to get into something, but I just don't like that round edge. My personal preference, no reason not to leave it in, no reason to take it out other than my reason. So here's where I can get a complete grind with the belt that I have. The problem with it is if the belt was bigger and taller and longer and wider, I guess I could probably get on up into here and bring that around more. So all I'm gonna do, no special measurements and there's no nothing, I'm just gonna come right here and measure what I think would give that knife a decent look. Wet it all down. All right, there you go, guys. Now it's more of a Bowie slash bouquet. So now we'll go ahead and get that finished up, make it a little smoother edge on there. Come back, give it one more final touch. Feel much better about it now. Um, as you can see, kind of goes a little bit further up. I still probably needed to come on down just a smidgen more this way, but it's going to take too much off of it. There's enough point there that if I had to get into it with a bear, I can get him right in there good. That yeah, would not probably just poop and hope he run from the smell. But anyway, that's not another story we're going to talk about. Um, she already has a nice little edge on it. It's kind of got a good grind all the way up. So we're just going to take now, put her up. I mean, that's all that we can do to it other than the hardening back of it. I'm going to clean it up just a little, but I'm going to use some vinegar. I'm going to lay it down in it, let it sit there for a while, let the vinegar eat up inside of it and get some of that rust that was in it out of it so it doesn't continue to keep rusting. So we'll be back with that part. She's taking a bath. He is now decided that he needed a vinegar bath, so touche, it's in the bath. I'm going to let it sit in there for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, nothing major, because I do not want to take all of the bad finish out of it. I just want to kind of get it a little bit of the, the rust that was in it from the blade where it's been out for the blade, that size blade. I don't know. The guy that I got it from said that it was under a house for at least 25 years. So I don't know how old it is, but that's another right, story. Guys, that's after it's been setting for 20 minutes inside the vinegar. It's shined it up, but I don't want it shiny. I just wanted it to get some of that rust. So when I fire it here in a minute, I'm fixing to get ready to take it out, fire up the forge, heat this sucker up, dip it in the oil, and that'll be the process of that and be done and over with. Then we'll slap the micard out on it. Do a little cleaning up on it just a little bit not a lot i changed it over to a blue belt which is a metal belt so let's see what we can get here and just clean it up a little i don't want to get it shiny i'm not looking for the polished look that's not what i want it's a carbon steel blade knife shining it down that much taking the carbon off of it i'm assuming and not only that you're just going to cause it to rust later on even quicker so we're just getting some of it cleaned up a little bit about it now I have never blued a blade before I'm gonna soak this thing in some vinegar for about two hours and we'll go into that part of this here we'll make this part two um, just seeing what I've been doing with it and you kind of get an idea and then we'll go with part three with putting the bluing on it part four we'll put the handles on it and it'll all be done this week so have fun <laughs> 